So you've done all the work, you've found that vulnerability, you've been able to verify it, now it's time to report it. First of all, it's really important to know that some bug bounty programs, some bug bounty platforms will have these fields included when you report a vulnerability. If they don't, it's always good to include them anyway because they will help the developer solve the problem faster and they will help the triage triage your bug faster. So that's why I always try to include these. No, it's not always possible. If it's not possible, leave them out, of course. But if it's possible, I try to include them anyway. First of all, I speak about the title, of course, vulnerability type. This is all normal, endpoint, or normal. Um, I need to list the endpoint on which the vulnerability is happening. And I also always include a small description. I just talk a little bit about what's going on, what the intended behavior is. Um, how I discovered the vulnerability, maybe a little bit like, for example, I triggered a call to API version 2 and I was thinking maybe I can also trigger version 1 and that's how I find the vulnerability, for example. Um, I also talk about intended behavior and talk a little bit about that later on. I always include my steps to reproduce. This is pretty important for me. I always do that because steps to reproduce will help the developer, it will help the triager, but most importantly, it will help me as well because I am very forgetful, guys. And if I have to retest a bug that I reported six months ago, that's going to be very difficult. So make it easier on yourself and do write down your steps to reproduce. I also include an actual and an expected result, which is pretty important for me because this will help the triager indicate okay yeah i understand now this is what was expected this is what's happening and then you also include your impact that will then again help the triager understand better what's going on it will help them better understand your bug the re re remediation steps are pretty important in my opinion if you do have remediation steps and if you can give a detailed guide on how to fix the issues that have been found some, and remember I am saying some here, some bug bounty programs, they might give you a reward for that. Not all of them, it's definitely not all of them, but some might. The severity is also pretty important and this all should come together and help your bug bounty report be a lot better than it already is. And it will help you get your bug triaged faster in my opinion. It will help the developer fix the vulnerability faster and it will help you overall retest your issue if you have to in a couple months time thank you very much for watching on to the next one